Fibroid tumors are muscle tumors that arise inside the uterus. There's three different locations of these tumors. They can be on the outside, in the actual wall of the uterus, or inside the uterine cavity. And a lot of times, their location will really determine what kind of symptoms women have. The ones that are on the outside, it really doesn't matter their size. They typically don't cause any problems. The ones that are in the cavity almost always cause problems with cramping or excessive bleeding. So that's one of the most common symptoms we see in women who are going to their gynecologist to figure out if something's wrong. There's been a change in their cycles. Typically, the symptoms will be gradual at onset, and it's amazing how much women can accommodate to something that comes on gradually. When they look back in retrospect and say, wow, for six months, this has been happening, and they talk about the length of the period and the amount of medication they have to take with their periods, then they think, I really do have a problem, and this has been going on for a long time. So it's typically a change in the pattern of bleeding or significance in pain. Sometimes we see women who show up and they really don't have those kinds of symptoms. They say, I've got a mass in my abdomen. I feel something heavy and big in my pelvis. And lo and behold, when we do an ultrasound, we see a uterus full of these tumors. They're non-cancerous, but they are the most common tumors in women. As women age, the incidence of fibroids increases. And by the time a woman is 35, she has about a 33% chance of having a fibroid somewhere in her uterus. Now, this is much more common in certain, certain ethnic groups, particularly in African-American women. They have a much higher incidence of fibroids than say Caucasians or Asians, but it really can affect anyone because at the root of this, it's an abnormality in the genetics of the individual muscle cells in the uterus.